Hello, good morning, Michaela and Angel. Hi, Michaela. Can you share with us uh, <clears throat> what condition do you have and uh, what's the problem um, before and uh, after treatment? What's the difference you see? Okay. Hi, I'm Michaela. I have Leber's congenital amaurosis or LCA. Um, before coming to see Dr. Yu, I only had about a five degree field of vision um, and I had horrible night blindness, color blindness or confusion, uh, really bad glare. Um, and now after the nine days, I have 70 degrees. 70 degrees 70 now. degrees of the field um, a lot more light perception all the way around um, my colors look more vibrant the glare is pretty much gone I can walk around without my sunglasses with maybe just a slight squinting um, and I can get around better in the dark and I'm adjusting a lot better to um, very lighting situations, whether it's light to dark or whatever, I adjust much faster than I used to. Wow. So how many years you have this uh, LCA? Since birth. Since birth? Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you remember uh, the vision problems uh, as childhood? What's the problem then? Uh, mainly just not being able to see anything but right in front of me. So I'd trip a lot, I'd run into things. In the elementary school, you know, yes, all that, okay. yes, all the time. And uh, after the, this nine days treatment, uh, have you found a difference in your visual field? Yeah, I can definitely tell when I'm getting close to things on the side. I can see darker objects, and it's it's definitely made me more confident getting around. Um, by seeing those things, even if I can't see them clearly yet, I can I can know something's there and turn to look at it. Mm -hmm. And Angel, what difference you see in Michaela? I think the main difference is her confidence in moving around on her own. With mm -hmm. the expanded visual field, she's able to navigate everyday situations a lot more easily than she ever could before. Uh huh. Okay. So when you walk on the street. What's the difference you see compared to before the treatment? Um, so when walking just like on the sidewalk, I would be able, before I would really only be able to see the sidewalk and right in front of me, like straight ahead, and now I can see the bushes on each side and the trees on each side. Um, like as I walk toward them, I can, the field is like this, it's more wide. I can't see next to me yet, but I can see more of a sh total picture in front of me now. Mm -hmm. If you look at yourself in the mirror, you can see a difference compared to before. Um, I don't look at myself in the mirror much, so. <laughs> okay. how, so how about the glares? What's the change before and after the treatment in the glares? The glare before coming here, um, I pretty much had to wear sunglasses all the time. If I didn't wear my sunglasses, I almost couldn't open my eyes because it would just hurt my eyes so bad to see the sun or bright, mm. something bright, that bright. Mm. And now I can walk around with just some slight squinting and see, be comfortable with it without my sunglasses at all. Mm -hmm. So the dark adaptation from light to dark, uh, adapt the speed is big better? Yes, uh. I noticed before coming here, it would take me probably a minute or so to adapt to darker environments and now it seems to be cut in half when oh, we go okay. into little shops and stuff. Uh -huh. How about night vision? You see any change in the dark vision? Well the night vision I really had nothing before coming here. I couldn't see even in low lighting situations and I know there's been one time where he went to help me in a low lighting situation and I was like I'm fine. I don't need I don't need help. I can see just fine. And in the dark getting around um, where we're staying, sometimes it, it's dark in the morning before we get up and I can walk around and see wow. where the walls are and wow. things like that. So that must be very, very 
So have you um, remember to see in a dark uh, environment like this as a child before? No, I could never see in the dark. Okay, okay, so it's a life change. Yeah. What what do you see a difference, uh, Andrew, uh, for Michaela, like a dark vision, a dim light? What's your witness? I think mainly uh, the changes, like she said, being able to get around even outside, inside, in low light situations, not having to help her nearly as much. Uh huh. Before you need to help her in the dark vision, dark 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 environment. Certainly, in, in dark environments, and even in um, what I would consider a reasonably well lit environment that wasn't particularly bright, she would still need assistance a lot of the time. Uh huh. Examples. Uh, a lot of times in restaurants. Uh -huh. The lighting may not be extremely bright, but I would consider it perfectly adequate for normal vision. Uh -huh. uh, but she would still have difficulty navigating around tables and chairs and things like that. And now? And now she's able to see the tables and chairs and move around much more easily than she ever could before. Without bumping into the chairs and this. Wow. Very good, Michaela. Uh, you know, you are the, the first case of LCA patients in uh, have treated you know they are also in the same category of uh, retinal degeneration I'm very happy to see your success and uh, congratulations thank you you're welcome thank you Dr. and, you. and uh, looking forward to the future yes mm.